okay hey what's up guys traveling Pinoa here okay so I am actually freezing right now I actually decided to stop by uh, this rail track here I think it's a railroad bridge that's what it's called and take a couple of shots and I actually find it really fascinating because I always stop by this area all the time now aside from that um, I actually did the photo shoot over a week ago and a couple of people came up to me and asked me the question on, on why I got into photography and how to get into photography. I managed to answer, actually answer that uh, really easily, but then there's other people out there that still couldn't decide if they want to get into photography. So here's some advice for people who are interested or planning into getting into photography. It's actually very simple. Whew. Man, it's getting really cold here. Okay, so the first one is the brand. It is actually very important what uh, brand of uh, camera you want to get. There's so many out there. You get the Lumix, Pentax, Nikon, Panasonic. What else? I think there's Fujifilm. I'm not too sure, but I did see one. I don't know if they actually got the full uh, DSLR. Then you got... Uh, Panasonic I think I said that already Sony Canon and there's other brands out there it is actually very important each one have its own unique feature but overall same general settings now number two is you finally decided to choose the brand let's say Canon um, Canon is my go-to camera here and once you choose a brand there's actually different variants of uh, cameras out there you got the crop sensor you get the full frame and then you get the mirrorless and the mirrorless have a crop sensor and a full frame as well so what is a mirrorless is actually the next level above the crop sensor and the full frame now for example is uh, when I mentioned be very careful uh, when choosing your camera sorry um, I think there's an encampment right behind where I'm doing this vlog here so gonna make this quick <laughs> so so let's say you purchase a crop sensor camera like uh, the EOS Revel series and you bought multiple EFS lens for the crop sensor sadly you're not gonna be able to uh, use that on a full frame and if you do want to use that on a mirrorless you will actually have to buy an adapter but then if you ended up purchasing an EF lens especially for the full frame you can use that for the crop sensor and you need an adapter for the mirrorless so you got to be very very careful oh. Okay, so I decided to uh, just leave the location. I actually checked the camp there and uh, I ended up getting a really bad feeling. So better safe than sorry. Okay, uh, let's move forward to the next location here. Maybe at uh, my uh, parents' uh, place because it's actually Christmas Eve right now. Whew. Okay all to take a picture <laughs> okay I'll explain that shortly okay so that was an interesting scenario definitely and it's the next day Christmas day that I make in this video here just had some family dinner really had a blast today even went to the gym but aside from that let's talk about the next subject here it is actually um, the type of hardware that uh, you need to get okay I'm getting uh, sick here now. <laughs> now you actually don't need to have the most expensive uh, hardware out there. What I'm talking about is a Mac or a laptop or a PC. Uh, just the basic um, laptop 
will do actually um, I actually have a Dell laptop that cost me about $500 and I actually been using it for the last four years now and it can still do really good photo editing so you don't need to have the most expensive equipment out there and also for the Canon line it actually comes with a free photo editing software very basic and then for the other software you can actually get a monthly subscription in Adobe and it actually comes with a bundle they're not sponsoring me but I do love their products okay so the next one is actually quite important it's actually relating to the brand of uh, camera and the hardware now you don't need to have the most expensive equipment out there all you need is like for the laptop as I mentioned just a couple hundred dollars as long as it can do the basic editing um, for both video and photo and for the camera you don't need to have the most expensive camera in the market there um, my advice is it's an entry level or semi-professional and if you really want to get uh, something really nice you can go with the Canon M50 which is the mirrorless which is the next level mirrorless cameras out there yeah it's actually quite simple plus on top of that you don't need to buy the most expensive gears out there for your camera you can definitely buy the nifty 50 uh, 50 millimeter pancake lens that's actually well advised by a lot of people that I know of and then you can get a basic tripod maybe a, a flash for your camera and a camera bag extra battery yeah I think that's it but you don't need to have you know those fancy fancy diffuser you don't need to have that couple hundred dollar <laughs> ND filter yeah it's just just don't spend too much but if you do have that extra money go for it no one's stopping you but uh, you got to make sure that you're actually investing it properly I actually learned some uh, interesting lesson <laughs> oh my leg is cramping okay okay since I just went to the gym not too long ago my legs are kind of hurting a little bit so I had to adjust the camera here but uh, the next part that I want to talk about is uh, no your basics it's actually very important um, this day and age anyone can just buy a camera and claim that they're a professional photographer and I've actually met one person specifically I actually met plenty but there's one person that sticked out the most and uh, I actually met this person half a year ago to one of the convention that I attended now before I met him I actually met another photographer who is actually an amateur and he admitted to me and he knows very little about uh, photography and uh, we actually had a really nice conversation because I actually learned from him and he learned from me we actually shared tips and advice and his camera at the time is the Canon 80D and it's one level up for my Canon 77D now the next person came in and this is actually quite interesting he's using a, a very expensive camera it's a Canon brand and at the time I I actually felt so ill prepared I was kind of jealous of the guy but that changed quickly so on top of his expensive camera he had this skeletal frame there he have a diffuser on his uh, flash a white one it's like this guy went all out and it's uh, and the question is was that really necessary I actually didn't know but uh, well not really necessary but I think he's just showing off and to make matters worse is uh, when me and the other guy started asking him questions about uh, cameras maybe he can share some advice he actually kind of take a pose and then suddenly he pulls his phone out pretending that he's texting but in truth he's actually pulling out the answers he actually didn't know the basics which is actually very embarrassing and because it became really awkward we just went our separate ways and later on he actually ended up getting into trouble <laughs> and well that's actually another story to tell but everyone's okay he just got slapped in the face <laughs> now the next one is the type of photographer you want to become there's so many out there for me I got into photography when I went to Montreal back in 2017 the moment I clicked that camera on a cosplayer everything changed I came out I actually enjoyed it and um, I decided to take general photography practically taking everything that I can learn so any types of photography that I can get to from 
landscape, nature, animal, family portrait, wedding. Wedding I haven't done yet, but I actually really had a blast there. So for others out there, you got um, the moment you click that button there, you actually get to think what type of photographer you want to become. If you want to just do photography as a hobby, perfect. And it can late it can actually what do you call what's that word I'm looking for again? It can actually go up into something really nice. You you will end up become a professional photographer if you really want it to go that far. So and there's so many out there, so many to choose from. And uh Actually, funny thing is, let's check this out. <laughs> so there's just some people out there that's just having fun. Okay, so sorry for taking a pose there. So it's all about um, the type of photographer you want to become. You can be a hobbyist, a semi-professional, or a complete professional. And uh, that's the type of photographer you want to become. It's your choice in the end. Now, the next part is you got to constantly practice. Now, it's great to know the basics. It's great to learn from other people, but it's really good if you keep on practicing. Always take that shot out there. It's like, know the type of setting. Sometimes you will actually learn things that other people doesn't know about, and you can actually share that later on. So that's actually very important. Now, <laughs> Just a second here, I just need to warm my hands. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm back. Oof, it is actually getting really cold here. Okay, now let's continue on for when we left off here. So there's actually places out there that you can actually practice your photography. And the best place is uh, an anime convention, a comic convention, because there's a lot of cosplayers out there. But remember, ask permission when you're going to be taking their picture and do not be pushy 99% of the time they will say yes that 1% they got to go somewhere or they need to eat so don't be pushy and do not be a creeper okay that's very important if you guys go there as a hobby to practice your photography perfect but uh, if you're just being a creeper yeah that's not gonna work out yeah and uh whew. Last but not the least, just a second here. I do have a cheat sheet here. <laughs> so cold. Okay, there we go. Now, if you actually go to a specific location, um, ask permission. Make sure that you cover everything because the moment you start taking that picture there, a security comes up to you, you will get in trouble. And do not justify it, do not cause trouble. And if someone comes to you and say that you're not allowed to take a picture, follow their instruction and move on it's not worth the heading and then if they tell you that you're not allowed then you can ask them where you can get permission to take those shots it's actually very important okay now last but not the least is um, what I was just mentioning earlier okay so it doesn't matter which country you're, you came from or you go to Homelessness is a serious matter. I have been work I have worked in an in one industry for over 12 years that I have actually seen a lot of good people just go downhill. I've seen kids who go to the library and uh, just hang out there doesn't go to school getting into drugs, alcohol and then that was back in 2011 and it's 2019 now nearing 2020 and they live on the streets it's actually quite sad that uh, it doesn't matter how rich a country is there will always be issues at every country homelessness drug addiction alcoholism now if you know someone that is actually suffering that including mental health try and give them a helping hand there's actual organizations out there that are actually willing to help and step up in every country out there you just need to look harder a little bit and uh, if they can't help you if they can't help the person there just reach out and see what you can do for them I know there's plenty of people out there that are actually suffering and do need a little bit of a push for them to have to change their life for the better okay that's all I got guys I may have actually missed a few steps here but that's the general 
that I can think of right now while my hand is freezing here. Now remember, have fun, relax and enjoy. That is life and keep on moving forward. This is Traveling Pinoy signing out and happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'll see you guys next time.